yeah so yeah can you tell me what are the things you are seeing around you who likhita is yeah who is that okay pranadi tell me trees okay metals metals mm -hmm. i didn't get that lots wood wood uh, okay krishna kumar i didn't get yours so please uh, can you answer through chat box children so i can see all answer rock okay okay krishna rock it's rock birds ma'am birds okay now can you tell me some materials which we use in our daily life yeah soil chair birds animals yeah animals which we use okay tell me uh, anyway i'll consider all this then okay so i'll write those Oh, one second. It's slowing down. Okay. So I'll write down whatever you are saying. Okay. Yeah. So. Okay. So the first thing you told me is rocks. Okay. I'll write it rocks. Uh, then sun. Okay, sun. Okay, animals. Okay, chair. Okay, chair. I'll write it here. Chair. Yeah. Then birds. Okay, soil. Pencil, pen. pencil pen okay sky clothes okay uh, children so you have given me uh, sun uh, sky and all so can you tell me the materials which we use in daily life so we directly are not using sun right sun or sky so that, that those are the things i think you gave me for the materials the things which you can see around you so i'll cancel this from our list so sun and sky i'm going to cancel okay then shoes okay shoes so i'm just writing down your list okay trees fan light oh i have got so many things in my light in my, okay knife in my list now water so i have brought this in two categories right so can you tell me yeah can you identify any uh, speciality for these two categories so i have grouped and rural and man made ma'am okay yes, ma okay who said that remya uh, correct remya it is natural and man made so which one is natural which one is man made rock animals rock, 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 rock. animals birds they are uh, natural ma'am okay they are natural Okay. Chair, pencil, pen. They are uh, man-made. Man man okay, they are man-made. Yeah, true. So, so can you tell me from where we are getting this chair or uh, pencil? From which of the sources we are getting that? Nature, ma'am. Okay, can you be more specific? Chair. Okay, let's consider wooden chair. So, from where are you getting that? Wood, ma'am. Wood? Yeah, trees. so trees that's here and pencil pen okay pen so what is it made of okay let's take uh, the pen you you usually write usually what do you see a pen a pen is made of it may be a wood it may be a plastic okay give me some types of uh, pens you have seen plastic plastic most Usually, you see that pens in plastic. So, 
we can write plastic here right so plastic is one more thing yeah and then clothes so you have studied fiber to fabric so tell, tell me which is the material we are using for creating clothes so what is the source of clothes natural and artificial natural okay there are natural as well as, as well as artificial so natural so from natural which is the source wool ma'am wool okay silk okay that's silk a cotton ma'am they are all types of clothes okay it's types of natural uh, fabrics right so tell me from where you are getting so wool from which uh, is that from sheep ma'am sheep from okay so sheep that's from an animal okay yeah so we have write, wrote it as animal here then uh, what about your cotton cotton clothes you have right from the plants from plants yeah that we can consider that in plants yeah so that is in plants okay then one more thing we were saying about yeah shoes so from where we are getting shoes leather leather okay leather leather is where do you get leather from animals yeah animals especially yeah their skin right so that is from yes. animals and then fan fan it is made of plastics or metals right yes ma'am yes. okay i have put light here so i'll put okay which light you are considering here uh, sudhir you have uh, raj rajeshri you have answered me light so is that man made or is that natural so where should i put that man made man made ma'am okay so which light you are considering here man made uh, in man made okay then tell let me tell you so are you considering a light which is uh, in our room like a bulb light something like that yes ma'am okay then what about our sunlight can we consider that also are we using no, sunlight no ma'am it's ah uh, yeah it, uh, it is uh, so can we take uh, sunlight in our natural set Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So I'll be putting here sunlight. Okay. Now, yeah. So yeah. Then fan is over, light is over. Then knife. Knife. It is metals. So from where we are getting metals? Is that from, from nature? Yeah. So metals. Yeah. So then plastic again. Yeah. So. in all this i have asked you from where we are getting so which is the source right i was asking okay. for the source so yeah today we will be looking at some sources of uh, all these uh, materials we are getting so especially we are looking for natural uh, natural sources okay or we can okay. say natural resources okay. so what are natural resources can you try to tell me sunlight air water these are all natural resources soil ma'am yeah sunlight air uh, water soil yeah all are natural resources but they are examples for natural resources so what is natural resource they are not man made yeah they are not man made they are resources right they are something the resources yeah. come from nature ma'am yeah the source the resources that are coming from nature we call it as natural resources and some examples for that are sunlight yeah sunlight air water water yeah i got answers from sirishma rimya pranati and even from rajarajeshri yeah good so from next time onwards you have to answer through chat box so that i can see all other answers also yeah nandu has written books also so yeah books phone i will add anyway that also books phone yeah so in your list does air water soil include yeah we have just seen that they are all natural resources right yes ma'am yes ma'am okay then yeah Yeah now tell me can air water and soil be exhausted by human activities so no, i okay who is telling raj rajesh is can be exhausted ma'am uh, i didn't get that pranati water can get exhausted ma'am 
Okay, now Pranati and Rajarajeshri are saying, Pranati is saying water can get exhausted and Rajarajeshri is saying they can't Not be. Not Rajeshwari ma'am. Uh, uh, Sriraj. Okay, I wrote your name Rajarajeshri, I'm sorry. Okay, Sriraj, thank you. Sorry for making that mistake. Uh, Krishna Kumar, okay, Sriraj. So, Sriraj was saying that air, they, this can be exhausted. So, who can tell me the meaning of this word exhausted? So, I have written exhausted. What does that mean? That can get over, over ma'am. That can get over. Okay, that can get over. So, what do you think, Venkat? Is that the meaning of the word exhausted? Venkat, what do you think? Is that the meaning of the word exhausted? So, I have just written, can air, water and soil be exhausted by human activities? And Sriraj and Pranadi were saying that they can get uh, exhausted and they are telling the meaning of this word is they can, this get over, that is this means finished. So, is that true? Is that the meaning? Ma'am, he is, uh, he answered in the uh, chat box, ma'am. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I, sorry, I didn't see that. Okay, thank you, Venkat. Yes, this word means that. Uh, the things can get over or they are getting finished or they are completely uh, finished by using or we use them up completely. So, there are no, nothing left. So, that uh, we can't. So, the question here means that whether air, water or soil will get completely over so that nothing will be left off if by some human activities. So, now I would like to see the answers from all the all of you. So, I got only Pranati's and uh, Sriraj's answer. So, I want to see all the answers in your chat box. Can this be exhausted? So, Pranati was saying it was no. I will note this down and we will discuss that also. Okay. Tell me if you think that they can be exhausted and tell me if you think that they cannot be exhausted. Okay. Ah, now, answer through chat box children. I did not see Navalakshmi's answer. I didn't see Sirishma's answer. Quickly answer through chat box. Okay, no, yes. Okay, everyone, please answer first. Yeah, answer first. I am getting no and this. It is a mix of no and this. Okay, let us see. No, only water can get exhausted, okay. So, yeah, so I think you are, t ah, okay, we will we'll discuss that then, okay. Now, Lakshmi, no, yeah. So, I got some 6 or 7 answers. I need to see some 15 more answers, right? Uh, no, 10 more answers. Quickly answer, I want to see all of your answers. Yeah, no. Mm -hmm. Let us see. So, I am going to, so today Mimi, now we are going to do an activity. So, for that, I will write down your names. So, yeah, first one in the chat box, it was Raja Rajeshri. I will write her name first. So, Raja Rajeshri. Ma'am, Sri Raj ma'am. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, no, I was just uh, checking the chat box. So, I got her name. So, I asked people to write down names. So, I am writing her name. Uh, okay, then there is Sri Raj. Okay, then there is Sushmita. Then, so, yeah. So, uh, we are going to play a game now. Okay. So, Mathuri, Nandini. So, in the meantime, I want to see all your answers in the chat box. I will check after this. Okay. So, I am giving you time to write your answers in the chat box. Um, can you say the question? Yeah, my question was can air, water or and soil be exhausted by human activities? I want your answers in the chat box children. Nantini, Likhideshwari. So, we are going to play.
okay then venkat okay then yogesh okay i only got eight names uh, in the chat box so whose names have i left out sirishma right did i miss anyone's name so i think this is all baskara yeah and vijay lakshmi so these are the names okay so did i get all your answers yeah so vijay lakshmi has answered as pranati water can get exhausted there is a relation between Okay, Sirishma, can you tell me what is the relation you are mentioning here? Yes, ma'am. If air will exhaust means then uh, there is no need for water, ma'am. Uh, why? So if air is completely over, there is no need for water. Okay, you are thinking. Okay, are you telling me that if air is over, then there won't be any life on earth? So water, there is no need for water, like that? Yes, ma'am. okay that's a good way of thinking okay then yeah some of you are saying uh, yes and some of you are saying no so we will see that so suppose that yeah uh, even pranati was saying ramya was saying and even uh, raja raja shri was saying that water can get exhausted so let's suppose that the water we are considering is not fresh water so we are considering the water in the seas okay the saline water Now tell me, will that get exhausted by human activities? No, ma'am. No. No. Yeah. So we'll come to that. Okay. So I got both yes and no. So let's see that. So before that, let's play a game. So I have brought all your names. Uh, please check your names are here or not. If not, just tell me. Okay. So I'm going to divide. your class into two groups okay so since uh, there are 11 people so i'll consider till five in one group this is group a and this is group b ma'am you didn't write my name uh pranati okay okay i was checking the chat box so yeah okay uh, is there anyone else name i have left out Yeah, so till six, I have taken as group A, and yeah. So now we are going to play a game. So I'll randomly. So I'm getting Samikta. Okay, it's Samikta. I'm sorry, Samikta. Just Samikta is nothing but Baskar Rao, ma'am. Yeah, I just saw that. Okay, Samikta. yeah so i am going to take one of you uh, from this group and i am going to write here their names so let me randomly take okay first name raj rajeshwari i'll take it here the first name from each group i am going to put it here so here it is venkat now i am going to take two more people so the next two so sri raj and sushmita so here it is yogesh and sirishma okay the next i am going to write the next three in this group so that is mathuri nandini so we have created some groups so a group a and b and then sub groups containing one uh two and three people right yes sir yeah likhideshwari okay then yeah here it is sirishma okay sirishma here wrote now okay samikta vijay lakshmi and pranati so i have kept 
Yes. Do you all like chocolates, children? Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, ma so all of yes, you like uh, chocolates, right? There is no yes, one who doesn't like chocolates, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, so yeah, in here I have kept uh, a bowl of chocolate here. So I'll I'm going to give group A and group B chocolate. Since it's virtual mode, I am only giving you in virtual. If it was a real class, I would have given you original chocolates. So right now. So let's get satisfied with this virtual chocolates. Okay, children. Okay. So suppose that I have ten chocolates here. So here also I have ten chocolates. So in each ball I am having ten chocolates. So I am going to give group A this ten chocolates and group B this ten chocolates. So is that clear till now? Yes, ma'am. Ah, uh, okay. Now, so. the first person so i have divided this group into a group uh, a, a subgroup having one person two persons and here it is three right so here also i have done the same thing one two and three so is that clear for all yes, yeah yes, now sir. yes so now i am going to give raj rajeshri so the first person here this bowl of chocolates So Raj Rajeshri, how many chocolates do you want? So I'll give you that much. Two, ma'am. Okay, Raj Rajeshri wants two. Okay then. Now I'm going to give. So that there, there are so totally there were ten chocolates. So how many will be left out? Eight, ma'am. Yeah. Eight, so there are eight chocolates now. Now I'm going to give Sri Raj and Sushmita these eight chocolates. So how many do you want, Sri Raj? Four. Okay, Sri Raj wants four. Okay, what? How many you want, Sushmita? Four, ma'am. Okay, Sushmita wants again four. Okay. So here, so is there any chocolate left out? No, ma'am. Yeah. No. So here, all the ten chocolates for this group is over. Now let's look at the second group. So I'm going to give Vengat this check ten chocolates. Now tell me, Vengat, how much do you want? Three, ma'am. Okay, one cat wants three. Okay, now I'm. How many are left now? Seven. Seven, yes. ma'am. Yeah, seven are here. So, Yogesh, tell me, how much do you want from this seven? Four, ma'am. Four. Okay, four. Yeah. What about you, Sirishma? Tell me, Sirishma, how much you want? Three, ma'am. Okay, Sirishma wants three. Is there any other any chocolates left? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Ah, so this group of three people are getting zero chocolates, and similarly, this group of people are also getting three zero chocolates. So, yeah. So what happened here? So I have divided you people into two, okay, three subgroups, right? So first, I have divided you into two subgroups, two collection of uh, a group of A and a group B. So I have done that like that. So this is my first grouping, and then I have divided you into three more groups. So containing one person, two person, and three people like that. And I have given you ten chocolates. So Raj Rajeshri took two, Sri Raj and Sushmita took four each. So all the ten are getting exhausted here. Right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So the remaining people, Madhuri, Nandini, and Likhitashri, didn't get any chocolates. So similarly, so when I gave Venkat ten chocolates, he took three chocolates, and uh, the left seven are shared by Yogesh and Sirishma. And then also here also we can see that Samyukta, Vijayalakshmi, and Pranadhi didn't get any chocolates. Right? So before the chocolates reach them, it is getting exhausted. Right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yes, so let's think that. So this is our first generation of people. So do you know generations? Do you understand what is generations? Yes, ma'am. Uh, Pranadhi, can you explain that to your friends so that everyone understands what is a generation? First generation means our ancestors, ma'am. Yeah, they are our ancestors. That's correct. So let's take our grandfathers. Okay. Our grandfathers, okay. our grandmothers, our grandparents. 
So first generation are our grandparents, we are considering three generations here. So this is the second generation. Okay, see so this uh, the group which is containing two people. So that is the second generation and this is the third generation. So this will be our grandparents generation, this uh, Sri Raj and Sushma, this group will be our parents generation and this group will be our generation. So is that clear? Yes ma'am. Or oh, clear for all? I only got uh, one answer. Yes. Yes ma'am. Yes ma'am. Yes ma'am. Yes, ma yeah. So when I gave uh, my, when there was some, suppose that our chocolates are some kind of resources. Okay. So we, we were just talking about natural resources. So let's suppose this is some kind of natural resource. Okay. And when I gave the resource completely to our grandparents generation, that is first generation, what happened? They took some. So something was left, something was remaining. So that was given to the second generation, right? So that was here. Let us take the case of uh, group A. So here I gave some resource to Raja Rajeshri, that is uh, the natural resources was given to Raja Rajeshri. She took some and she left the remaining to the next generation. So Sri Raj and Sushmita got some of this natural resource. Now, then what happened? They took it completely. So, there was nothing left to give to their children, right? Their uh, next generation. Can you see that here? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, ma so, do you think our, uh, uh, in this case, let us look at in this case. So, do you think our grandparents' generation, that is first generation was a bit greedy? or the second generation was really greedy like that, do you feel that? If they have no, taken one or two, so suppose if they have taken one or two, something will be left for the next generations, right? Yes, ma'am. Ma yeah, so let us take this into consideration and let us assume that these are our natural resources. So there are some natural resources. So if, if you take it as so, uh, let us take our example as air, okay, air can be considered, so air is still there, okay, let us take in the case of fresh water, so the drinking water, let us take that. So, instead of chocolate, so we are keeping drinking water, so, so in the first generation and in the second generation, they are getting enough drinking water, pure drinking water, but what happens to the next third generation and the fourth generation and all, they are not getting anything right? Yes ma'am, the water will exhaust it. Yeah, yes. the water will get exhausted. So, today we are going to discuss about the natural resources which are getting exhausted and which are not getting exhausted. So, uh, so in, can you tell me a name for such natural resources which are getting exhausted? Water. water. Okay, water, fresh water. If you are saying water, it is fresh water. So, the, you know that in our globe, so one third of our whole earth is covered by water, right? Yes. Though it is not pure or fresh, which we can drink and use, it is saline water, but it is still water. So, if you are saying about uh, the resources which are getting exhausted, you need to consider fresh water. Is that okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay, yeah, so such resources which can get exhaust are called as exhaustible natural resources. So, what are exhaustible natural resources? Pure water. Yeah, that fresh air. Pure water, what is that cross shape? Fresh air, ma'am. Okay, fresh air. Okay, ma fresh air cannot get exhausted. Yes, yeah, air cannot be get exhausted, but similarly, if we consider fresh air or if we consider oxygen, so fresh air means pure oxygen, right? So, which we are considering in general case. So, if you take oxygen, it can get exhausted, but air, if you generally say air, it cannot be exhausted because air is everywhere, air is present everywhere, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, then can you give some examples for exhaustible natural resources? Tell me Water. more examples. Okay, water, uh, that I have written, no? Fresh water, that is exhaustible. Trees. Trees, okay, that is exhaustible. Then, 
forest yes forest is exhaustible yeah if we cut down all the trees there won't be anything left electricity electricity it depends on how it is generated right ma'am even fossil fuels yeah fossil fuels so who said that pranati okay we'll come yeah. to this section separately okay pranati i'll come to that again okay then what about animals so what about so why are we protecting some animals especially some because animals because they are getting an for next generations ma'am okay for just generation they are getting exhausted is yes. uh, so suppose uh, see uh, we can't hunt any animal like uh, a deer or a uh, pig or a peacock anything we can't hunt th the such animals right so why is uh, such a law there so that which an which they are endangered animals ma'am yeah they are endangered so can you tell can we just uh, include them also in this exhaustible natural resources yes ma'am yeah so yes, animals uh, that is wild life is also exhaustible natural resources similarly yeah so these are some of the examples of exhaustible natural resources so ah uh, yeah so we have come so let's read the third statement so yeah i would like to have sri raj read this statement the third one the amount of such resources in nature is limited yeah the amount of such resources in nature is limited so we call ah uh, yes they can be exhausted by human activities and therefore we call them as exhaustible natural resources okay i would like to have navalakshmi to read this the complete one so third fourth and fifth the amount of such resources in nature is limited they cannot be exhausted by human activities they can be or cannot be navalakshmi ma'am they can be yes, or they, they can be exhausted by human activities yes. which we call them as exhaustible natural resources yes so can you note this point so if someone asks you to say what are exhaustible natural resources of or define exhaustible natural resources will you be able to say what are exhaustible natural resources yes ma'am yeah yes so yes. all this which we have discussed like oxygen trees forest fossil fuels wildlife everything is exhaustible natural resource now let's go back to our question so can air water and soil be exhausted by human activities so what do you think now no ma'am no ma'am no ma'am they cannot be exhausted okay Only no so here water. i am considering uh, not the pure air or fresh air here i am not considering the pure water or fresh water or the water which is drinkable water which is edible uh, yeah something like that so you are saying no is there anyone having a different answer they can't get exhausted ma'am okay can you give me an example to support your answer they can be exhausted so you you just told me they cannot be right or they can be yes ma'am uh, which one pranati i didn't get that ah uh, pranati can you uh, can you answer through chat box i didn't properly hear your last answer so where are you yes, saying that okay yeah so air water and soil can they be exhausted by human activities i still didn't see all of your answers so subanth what do you think sai is subanth oh soil get cannot get exhausted yeah they cannot get exhausted okay so if you consider uh, the air which is surrounding us the water which is uh, uh, surrounding the earth or even the soil they cannot get exhausted so what can you call such resources inexhaustible inexhaustible okay you are telling me it is inexhaustible let's see if we call that as inexhaustible so so i only got two people saying that so is there any other name yeah sirishma can you try nandini can you try Yeah, answer through chat box, children. What do you think? 
such resources can be called as we can group them as some resources right so the resources which are getting exhausted we call them as exhaustible resources and what about the resources which are getting exhausted now which are non non exhaustible ma'am okay there is a name non exhaustible okay ramya is saying non exhaustible okay is there any names generally we call such resources as inexhaustible so we don't say it as non exhaustible but that is quite difficult so we just call such resources as inexhaustible resources so what are inexhaustible resources ma'am we can call them as unlimited uh, resources ma'am yeah we can call them as unlimited resources but since we have already yeah. categorized grouped some resources as exhaustible right we have uh, categorized uh, wildlife forest fossil fuel as exhaustible so so in correspondence to that we just say some resources are inexhaustible okay is that clear for all yes, yes ma'am okay yes, ma i would like to have ramya read this statement the amount of such resources in nature is unlimited are, and are not likely exhausted by human activities yeah next one also we call them as inexhaustible re natural resources yeah please not this point we call such resources as inexhaustible natural resources so can you give more examples for inexhaustible natural resources quickly give me answer sunlight solar energy okay sunlight solar energy wind okay, energy wind energy is yes, good even wind ma'am ah uh, yeah wind wind energy yeah tidal energy yeah tidal energy yeah all these are inexhaustible hydro power ha huh, yeah hydro power it is also inexhaustible okay good so let's move to the next one so someone was saying about fossil fuels i think it is pranadhi can you tell me what is a fossil fuel or can you give example where have you heard about fossil fuels coal petroleum these are all called coal fossil petrol. fuels ma'am okay coal petroleum so pranadhi is saying coal petroleum are called fossil fuels okay is anyone having any other examples or any other natural oh. gas okay natural gas natural gas natural okay natural gas so i'll also write that now tell me where have you heard about this coal petroleum and natural gas or how do you know about this fossil fuels in science text uh, science lesson it is there ma okay in science lesson it is there so have you heard, have you learned this in 6th 6th or in your previous class classes already is my teacher about this ma'am okay so already you know all the, about all these things okay then tell me so why are these uh, fuels this uh, coal petroleum and natural gas are called fossil fuels answer me so why are they called fossil fuels ma'am million uh, many years ago they are formed in rocks ma'am yeah they are formed in rocks they many years ago they are formed okay uh, but it's not a correct accurate answer i think ma'am yeah this fossil fuels will be formed from the dead and decaying animals ma'am it will take millions of years to form as correct sushma that's correct so in here so these fossil fuels so from this word what can you say it is a fuel right so fossil okay. fuel that word is made of two words so that is one is fossil and another one is fuel so it is a fuel that is clear from that now and it is obtained it is a fuel which is obtained from fossils so what do you what is called a fossil yeah you just answer me and plants yeah dead dead and decaying rocks ma'am yeah dead and decaying living organisms so they are called fossils so dead remains of living vegetation they are called fossils so the fuel which is obtained from fossils that is the dead remains of vegetation or uh, living organisms or uh, uh, what you can call anything for that so dead remains from the dead remains we are getting a fuel so they are called fossil fuels so that's why 
coal, petroleum and natural gas are called fossil fuels since they are obtained from fossils. Okay, is that clear for all? Clear. Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, ma yes. Now, yeah, you have already. Is there a now? Tell me, are they exhaustible? Are these? Yes, no, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I got both no and this. Okay, I only got three or four answers. Give me quickly. What do you think? Are they exhaustible? Okay, I got Pranati exhaustible. Yes. So, yes, Navalakshmi is also saying yes. Okay, no. Okay, I got a different answer that is from Sri Raj. Okay, Sri Raj, tell me. Why do you think they are not exhaustible? Or before generation, when they die, ma'am, mm -hmm. again we will get that fossil fuels. When we die, our next generation will get no ma'am. Yeah, that but yes, yes, Sri Raj is uh, logically thinking, yes, Sri Raj. But how many years do you think uh, it is needed for fossil fuels to form up? To fossils to become fuel? How many years do you think, Sri Raj? Millions. Uh, yeah, millions of years. It needs millions of years. So, the fuels which we are using have been formed at the time of Adam and Eve, like millions of years before, uh, like cave age or that time, that fossil fuels, that, that time, the fossil, okay, the fuels which we are using are from that time, from the cave age, that time. Okay, so do you think? It is we uh, these uh, fuels are exhaustible or not exhaustible right now, Sriraj? What do you think now? Exhaustible. Yeah, they are exhaustible. Why? Because it takes that much amount of time. So that much amount of time, and if we simply use this up, and there won't be anything left. So even for uh, so to. To form all these fuels, we need special conditions like high pressure and soil needs to be deposited over all these like that. So, all that takes millions of years again. So, it is all these fuels are exhaustible. Okay, is that clear for all? Such fuels are? Yeah, yeah exhaustible. Now, tell me, can fossil fuels be made in a lab setup? No, ma'am. No ma'am. No, ma yeah, all are agreeing to that. We cannot make fossil fuels in a lab. Yes? Yes, no. Yeah, correct. So, we cannot make a fossil fuel in lab because it needs millions of years. So, it is not possible for us to keep uh, like a dead vegetation or a fossil in all the conditions like for in a lab setup for millions of years. That is not possible. So, it is not possible for us to make fossil fuels and these fossil fuels are exhaustible. Now, let us talk about natural gas. So, you have given me examples of uh, fossil fuels as called petroleum and natural gas. So, let us think about natural gas. Now, what do you know about natural gas? You have given me example as natural gas. What is natural gas? CNG and LPG are some mm -hmm. examples. So, okay. gas CNG and LPG also. So, can you tell me what is CNG? Abri uh, expand that. Compressed natural gas. Compressed yeah. natural gas. It is compressed natural gas. What about LPG? Don't know. Okay. LPG is nothing but liquefied petroleum gas. Okay. Liquefied okay. petroleum gas. So, CNG, okay, uh, I am agreeing with natural gas. So, the natural gas and compressed natural gas. But LPG is a different category, okay. This doesn't comes under here, natural gas. It is a fossil fuel, but it is not coming under natural gas. Okay, now tell me, is this a solid, liquid or a gas, natural gas? Gas. 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 Gas, ma'am. Yeah, so. Gas, ma'am. All are agreeing that it is a gas. So, in the name itself, it is given that it is a gas. So, since it is a gas, it can be, uh, and we know that this is a fossil fuel, it can be easily transported through using pipelines. Since it is a gas, there is no that much of weight and it can be transported to whichever place you wish, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma is that okay? Is that clear for all? 
clear yes, milk. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, so it is and very easy to transport this uh, natural gas. What happens if there is hole in that pipes? Uh, okay, Pranadi, can you repeat that again? What happens if there is a hole in that uh, transporting pipes, ma'am? Everything will be yeah, it lost. will leak. Yeah, it will leak, Pranadi. So we lose all this natural gas there. It is very difficult to even take up natural gas, even get natural gas. But we lose that if there is a hole. But it, so, uh, in order to prevent that, there is special uh, coating or if the pipelines are carrying this will be very handled very carefully so that so no such accidents will happen so that we won't okay. lose uh, such okay. precious uh, fuels okay okay ma'am yeah so this is a gas so it is it can be used so it is easy to transport through pipes so in india there are some places where natural gas is used as a fuel so there is especially in gujarat in Gujarat, so there is a pipeline network itself, so that everywhere we are getting natural gas using this pipeline. So it is used as a burning uh, in homes for burning as a fuel in homes, in factories, everywhere. So especially in Gujarat, you can see in Vadodara, in Gujarat, you can see pipeline network of natural gas. So even in Delhi, you can see this pipeline network because it is very easy to transport since it's a gas. So all other uh, forms of fuels uh, is except LPG or uh, uh, this one. Okay, it's not, uh, no, all other fuels, even including LPG, LPG is a liquid. So, all other uh, fuels are in uh, solid or liquid state, but this one is only in gas state. So, how we store this? Do you know how we store this? How do we store this? In cylinders. Yeah, cylinders. In cylinders, but in cylinders, how? So, if you know that it is a gas in gaseous state, so suppose this is a container, I am, so suppose this is our cylinder, so air particles will be here and there, you know that, no, it is not a liquid and all, so we need to compress this, we will compress by giving high pressure, so we will press this down, we have learned about pressure, right? Yes, ma'am. So, we will give high pressure to this gas, natural gas inside and it will get compressed. So, under heavy pressure this will, so the particles which are like here, so if the natural gas particles are like this, after getting compressed all the particles come like very near. So, like this they will come, it will be very near. So, here it was scattered, scattered everywhere. So, after getting pressure, after getting compressed under high pressure this will be coming like this and then it is easy to again carry this or store this. So that is how we are getting CNG which is nothing but compressed natural yes, yes Ramya, compressed natural gas. So, so are you are you clear about how we are getting compressed natural gas? Yes, yes. yes. So, I only got two or three cases. So, I hope you all understood how we are getting that. So, natural yes, gas is stored. Yeah, yes. yes. Now, can you tell me some of the uses of CNG? So, I have just told you some uses. So, I would like to hear it from Sri Raj. You know, it is a fossil fuel. So, what will be its use? So, you even told me it is carried in cylinders. Cooking. Yeah, it is used as a cooking gas. Yes. It is used in many industries, ma'am. Yeah, it is used in industries as a fuel for burning also, especially. And have you heard that uh, CNG is the cleaner fuel? Cleaning fuel. Cleaning fuel. Cleaning fuel or cleaning? Okay, you are telling me it is cleaning fuel. Why? Are we using this to clean somewhere? No, ma'am. Yeah, ma then what is the context? It doesn't cause pollution, ma'am. Yeah, it doesn't cause pollution. So, we call this as cleaner fuel, okay? Cleaner fuel. It is less okay. polluting. So, we call this as cleaner fuel, not cleaning fuel. He, cleaning fuel, if you say it like that, it means, uh, so natural gas is used as a cleaning agent somewhere. So, it is not true, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, so natural gas is called as a cleaner fuel because 
it it creates less pollution compared to all others so pollutants in the remains of uh, natural gas is very less so we use this in in vehicles also to transport in transport vehicles as a fuel we are using natural gas so is that clear for you all yes ma'am ma'am ma even for creating electricity we are using uh this one uh, natural gas compressed natural gas cng yeah for power power generation also we are using that now it is also used as fuel for transport vehicles yeah all we have answered now what are the things we have seen today so we have talked about exhaustible yeah exhaustible natural gas and inexhaustible natural resources yes exhaustible and inexhaustible now tell me what are exhaustible natural resources give me some examples coal petroleum natural gas okay coal yeah, pe petroleum and natural fuels. okay fossil fuels even forest wild life animals like that also is coming under exhaustible natural resources mm -hmm. and especially we have taken up fossil fuels fossil yeah in fossil fuels which is the fuel we have seen today cng yeah cng natural gas yes compressed natural gas yeah we have talked about cng now give me examples for inexhaustible natural resources sunlight sun oil water yeah sunlight air soil, water soil sunlight yes yes so we have seen all that now uh, under fossil fuel we have seen compressed natural yeah, gas cng yes so let's see some questions okay so let's play a game i want all of you to answer for that i'll only take 5 more minutes so don't worry about that Okay, one second. It needs a little time to load it up. Okay, everything is. Yeah. So, can you see the question? State true yes. or false? Yes. Yes. So, Raj Rajeshri, can you read the question? Oh, I'm sorry. So, fossil fuels are exhaustible. Yeah, fossil fuels are exhaustible. That is. the question so one second it will load up so in the meantime please answer that in the chat box yeah so fossil fuels are exhaustible i am getting okay sriraj is even saying not false okay so can i say it as true sriraj Yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay. That's a different way of thinking. That's good, actually. Different thinking is really good. Okay, true, true. So all the answers I have got is true. So let's see if that is correct. Yes, your answers are correct. It is true. Now let's move to the next question. So expand CNG. Compressed natural gas. Okay. Compressed compressed natural gas. So I got two answers. I would like to have. Uh, Sri Lata, okay. Sri Lata, can you answer? Compressed natural gas, ma'am. Yes, compressed natural gas. Navalakshmi, can you try? Compressed natural gas, ma'am. Yes, it is compressed natural gas. So CNG is Extend nothing but CNG. CNG. Compressed natural gas. Yes. Compressed natural gas. Yes. So let's see. some more questions are there yeah state true or false cng is the most polluting fuel is that true yeah i got answers false, false. false. okay i want to see answers in the chat box false okay i'm getting so many false okay let's see i'll wait for one more minute and i want all the answers there Yeah, I'm getting all answers. Yes, yes. Answer fast. If I don't see all your answers, I'm not going to show you the answer. <laughs> Again, not true. It is less polluted. Okay. I'm even getting the reasons. Yes. 
So let's check this. Stay true or false, CNG is the most polluted. As it is false because CNG is the cleaner fuel. It is called as cleaner fuel. Now, state true or false. Soil is exhaustible natural resource. Now, answer for this one. I got two answers, three. Answer quickly. I want to see who is answering first. Okay, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, uh, I need to get some five answers more. So, quickly give me answers or I will ask you. Okay, Kandachi Nantakumar. Can you tell me is this a true statement or a false statement? False st statement. Okay, he is also saying it is a false statement. So, all the answers I am getting is false and I am even getting, yeah, I am even getting resource, uh, okay, the reasons. Even Venkat is saying that. Okay, let us see. Yes, it is a false statement because soil is inexhaustible. Yes. Okay, children. So, now it is time for homework. So, yeah. Your homework is find out more about CNG. Okay. Can you do that? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I would like to have uh, Navalakshmi to read the question of homework, home assignment. Find out more about CNG, where it is found in India. Mm -hmm. Get more information regarding CNG pipeline network in Gujarat. Yes. So, tomorrow we are having a class. So, before tomorrow's class, I need all of you to send me the answers. I will give you a Google form. Is that okay? So, that you can answer in that. Okay. Okay. Write okay, and take a pic and then upload. That's, that will be more good. Or you can even write in that also. Yes. So, is the question for assignment clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay, are you having any doubt regarding any topic which no. we have discussed? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Okay, then. See you in the next class tomorrow, children. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. bye yeah. ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, ma'am. Ma ma yeah, see you, children.